I think one of the best ways that you can reduce the competition in your community, reduce the competition um, in, in chiropractic, but above all, help people overcome from where they were and what they thought about chiropractic to where they are and what they think about chiropractic after they leave your presence is by setting yourself apart through excellence. Yeah, and this is one of my favorite topics because you can be excellent in everything that you do in your practice and you would exceed people's expectations. There's nothing better than getting through with a brand new person in your office, a new patient or practice member, and they came all the way through the process and they're like, wow, I'm so thankful. I had no idea that yeah. chiropractic did this or yeah, could absolutely. do this. And I can't wait. I'm so excited to get better, but I'm so excited for my son and my husband to experience this. And this, for the light bulbs going off, yeah. and to, they just know they're in the right place. Absolutely. And unfortunately, a lot of times we, we get experiences where they're like, I went to another chiropractor and this happened. You know, they didn't, do, they didn't do anything. I actually got hurt at my first visit or they didn't explain anything to me. And the chiropractor might have gave a very specific adjustment. It might have been doing the right thing. The person just had no idea what was going to happen, didn't know what to expect, and they had a bad experience. Yeah, absolutely. And so I think one of the best things that you can do is don't, don't, don't try to overpromise and underliver. He said something, Dr. Eric said something very specific. He said, exceed people's expectations. A great way to do that is just to operate in total excellence from start to finish with your team, with yourself, with the appearance of your practice, advancing chiropractic at all times and its reputation. <laughs> <laughs>